everyone, this is Jeff Scott of Blackhawk Technical College. I've fallen a little bit behind, so I've come in here on Saturday, the 25th of October, to attempt to do uh, some taping. We'll see how much. I'm on Chapter 6 right now, page 143, Creating Killer Content, Adding and Editing Articles. In this chapter, as the author says, we'll focus on adding and editing articles, the type of content essential to most sites. All right, later you want to add might want to add other types of content such as images, forums, etc., which will be dealt with in Chapter 10. All right. Joomla, as mentioned, allows you to edit articles and tweak article settings to fit your needs. In this chapter, then, we go over creating, editing, and formatting articles, splitting an article into intro text and body text, dealing with long articles by splitting them into a series of pages, and adjusting general article settings. As always, I'm going to spend most of the time going over the exercises that are in here and not as much talking about the uh, different menus and stuff that they show. So, as mentioned, you might be tempted to think of an article as the same thing as a page. Technically, it isn't. All right. Joomla figures any web page is constructed of a whole lot of database driven pieces, bits and pieces. Although in Joomla, an article will certainly be the center of a content page, there's bound to be more than that on a page. And really, you've already seen this. You know, you put things like images, for example, on pages. So, all right. So over the last few chapters, you've practiced adding and editing articles. Let's recap the steps involved. So as the author mentions here, that to recap those steps, sorry. So to create a new article, navigate over to Content Article Manager. And as you know, if we want to create a new one right now, we'll click on New, all right, right here. Or what we can also do is to use the Flyout menu right here for Article Manager, which gets us to the same place. All right, both of them get you to the Article Manager Add New Article screen, which you can see on the screen here, which is also on page 145 in the book, okay? To edit an existing article, you navigate to Content Article Manager and you select the article in question. Apart from this, the Add Article and Edit Article screens are almost the same. So this really right here, that's the Edit Article screen. And that is the New Article screen. Okay, But I think what the author is trying to say is most of the stuff here is the same. So what do we got? Content, publishing, images and links, options, configure, edit screen, etc. All right. So let's navigate over to Content Article Manager and click New. And the article we're supposed to put in is just what is ugly art. <coughs> says this should fit in the facts category, so let's select the bad art main category and the facts subcategory. There's our bad art and there's our facts. By default status found under details is set to published. All right. Let's set it to unpublished. And if we do that, as mentioned, this way the article will remain invisible to site visitors until you're finished with it until you go back and do publish it. We don't want the article to show up on the home page, so leave Featured set to No, which it currently is. In the Text Editor screen, add some text. In the example, they've added five paragraphs. So let's go do that. As always, we'll go over to our friend, Lipsum.com. We'll go down to here, and we'll choose, I guess, five is what's chosen. So we'll choose five. Copy it, come back to, whoop, to here, and paste it in. All right. In the example, we've added five paragraphs, a short introductory text and four separate paragraphs. Type a subheading above each of the four paragraphs. So we want a subheading in each one of these. So they have chosen abstract chaos, followed by poor anatomy, followed by 
too much detail. Now I'm going to do a little bit more than the author did. They don't capitalize, but I'm going to. And then finally, the last one will be hideous colors. Let's use the text editor tools to change the basic formatting of the text, as mentioned here on the top of page 148. Put the cursor anywhere with in the subheading Abstract Chaos. All right, click on the Format drop-down. Shows the paragraph by default. All right, and choose Heading 3, as shown in the following screenshot. So we'll do each one of those. and finally hideous colors. So we should now have our one, two, three, oops, our one, two, three, four paragraphs, each with their headings as shown. All right. In the previous screenshot, the heading three format is being applied to an article subheading. As the main article titles in Joomla you usually have a Heading 2 format. The Heading 3 is suited for the next level, the subheadings within an article. If you want more format control, what the author mentions there is you can actually go in and play with the CSS template for this, and that's what's mentioned here on the bottom of page 148. And I'm not going to do that. So Select the other three subheadings and apply the Heading 3 to those two, and then click on Save and Close. All right, so done all these, save and close, boom. As mentioned here back into our book, the article editor screen gives you a rough impression of what the article will look like, but it isn't a reliable preview of the article. All right, this means you probably always want to check what the article looks like by navigating over to the front end. If you have this preview available while editing an article, it's a good idea to open the front end article in a new browser tab and switch between the two. Okay, I'm not going to do that right now. We could. It's no biggie one way or the other. In fact, if you really want, since we did the save and close, I can open up a new tab. Let me grab this one right here. Copy. Come over to here. Paste. Okay. There you go. Okay, now the new one we just put in was under, I believe, was it under Art Lectures? We left it unpublished, so we're not going to see it anyway. And that's fine. All right, let's jump back to the book again. Okay, feel free to open the article you just created and play around with it if you'd like to. You can also check out, as they say there, the toggle editor button. And let's take a quick look at that. So let's go back to that article again. And the article that we just added was just what is ugly art. There it is. You can see that it's unpublished, but we can click on it and look at it. And there's the stuff we just put in along with our four paragraphs. Notice if we go to Toggle Editor, what you'll see when you look up here is they put the whole thing in an ID. There's paragraph tags, and there's our H3 tag. Okay? And it's just a toggle. That's probably why it's called Toggle Editor, so now we're back. All right, so they're talking next on page 149 of having us come in here and change the formatting. So have a go hero, change the formatting. Feel free to open it. That's what I just did. Okay? All right. This can be particularly useful if you want to know your way around HTML. Sometimes it's easier to go back in at the HTML. Okay? Later in, in Chapter 10, we will add to the tiny MCE editor. We'll go back and we'll, I think we convert it into the regular Joomla editor, which has much more or many more uh, possibilities. Okay, adding images to articles. Now, we are going to add those images. What I am going to do to just check real quick is this is chapter six. I'm going to jump in here as I have been doing and just, just double check and make sure I've got all that stuff. Get 
this is chapter six. And I'm going to check. I'm going to grab all these that are here. Control copy. Go back up one and try to stick them right into images. Again, if I have any repeats, etc., they're going to go back and tell me that, and I just want to paste those in if I have any. Don't copy. Don't copy. Don't copy. Don't copy. Don't copy. So the rest should be, hopefully, at least in there by now. Okay. All right. Jumping back, then I can close this. Hopefully, I'm done with that. Jump back to the book. Close that. All right. So as mentioned on page 151. Sorry, the bottom of 150. The article says there, or the book says, adding images to articles, which is a, what we are, again, about to do. All right, so the author mentions, sorry, I lost the page. There we go. All right. It says, before uploading images, it's good to make sure they're resized to the proper dimensions. And there's different ways that you can do this. Notice there's a picture resizing tool under http colon slash slash www.picresize.com. If you want thumbnails, there's makeathumbnail.com. And most of these products are free also, which is what you probably want. So, time for action. Page 151. Navigate to Content Media Manager. We'll create a sp specific folder for the files. I'm not going to do that. And they're telling us to come in here then and basically add the different articles, or the different images, I should say. Okay? So, I'm going to just pretend I've done that. So, I've got the pictures in there and ready to be set up. So I'm just going to jump down to page 152, where the author tells you to basically come in there and put in the pictures. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, so I'm jumping back into onto my site and into the article that's in question. All right, so I'm right here. So let's place an image in each of the article paragraphs. Place the cursor at the beginning of the first paragraph below the introduction text just after the first subheading, which was Abstract Chaos. So we're right here. All right. Click on the Image button at the bottom of the text editor screen. A pop-up comes up showing the contents of the image's root directory. All right. And what do we want to add here? Hopefully I can find that image. Looks like the one that's shown right here, the landscape image. So I'm going to click on that. That sets it up. I can, okay, scroll down to the pop-up window and add the other relevant details as follows. Okay, under the image script, uh, let, let's say ugly landscape image. All right, there's my description. In the title box, enter a title. Let's just call it the same. Whoops, call it the same thing. We'll call it Ugly Landscape. That's not where we want to put it, though. Uh, image title, there we go. Ugly Landscape Image. All right, in the align, choose how it'll be. Let's choose left for the first image. Place the cursor in the next paragraph and repeat steps four to six. Okay, so let's let's go do that. All right, so I should be able to click insert. There it is. So there's my first one. All right. And actually, we want this to be, I guess, over here. So let's move this. So place that. I could play around with it and make it look the way they want it to look, but I'm not going to even do that. Next one is poor anatomy. So we're going to go through the same thing here. All right, image. And it looks like the image of a gentleman right there. There it is. All right, and it looks like this is called ugly perspective. Also, 
so. They want us to float this one to the right. So there's our insert. Okay, we'll look at it in a minute and see if indeed it works the way that it's supposed to be working. Too much detail. All right, image. That's the one with the handshakers. Ugly symbolism. And that one looks like it's set to the left. And then finally, one more. And that's down here right before hideous colors. And that's the one that we've done this one before. So that's fine. It's this one here. And it's just ugly colors. Which it also looks like is going to be floated to the right. Okay. I believe I've done everything the author has asked us to do. Okay. Step 10 on the top of page 155 says, as the article is ready for display, let's get ready to show it on the front end of the site. First, make sure the status of the article is set back to published. And now it is. Now add a menu link to the facts category to make the contents, to make it, to make its contents, even if it's just this one article, all right, visible. You know the drill from previous chapters, so let's do a save and close here. All right. And they say go to menus, main menu, add new menu item, select category blog as the menu type. category add a menu title like facts on bad art and save the menu link that's it they say now you can see the article on the front end by clicking on the associated link so we're coming over here let's refresh let's come back over here and go on just what is ugly art there it is there's the first one second one third one and fourth one looking at least somewhat like what they show in the book all right on page 155 okay all right so those are the steps i just went through what just happened? Adding pictures to articles is pretty straightforward. You upload the desired image files and use the image button to tell Joomla where you want them put. After you've inserted the image, you may want to adjust the settings to create more gutter space in the images. Click on the insert image icon, which is the picture of a tree. Now, I had problems doing this before because I didn't find that. But we can look and see if it's in here. All right, so I want to go back in here. I want to bring up the Just What Is Ugly Art article. what is ugly art. All right, you can see our stuff is in here. Now they say this thing looks like a tree. This is insert or edit image. I could find that, but that's all it gave me. All right, which is not, I believe, what we want. And I'm looking up here, so if I'm missing something, somebody watches this lecture, I hope somebody does, and can figure out what I'm doing wrong right there, I'd appreciate being told. be up in here under options. Let's look. There's content. There's publishing. Images and links. We'll come back to that later, I believe. Options. Configure edit screen. And permissions. I don't see it. Again, maybe I'm just missing something. The 
insert edit image that they show right there. Maybe I have to click on an image. Let's try that. All right, let's let's uh, back up here. Okay, in fact, we'll go right here and we'll click on the article. So I'm going to click on the image and then I'm going to choose from here the insert edit image. You see what it shows? Again, am I missing something? It sure wouldn't be the first time. But I don't see anything like they show in the book. And that's as close to a picture of a tree as I can see. Is right there. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna guess I'm not gonna do that. Changing the way an article displays. I'm moving up to page 157 in the book. The article editor screen gives you much more power than just formatting text and adding pictures. You can split how, control how the article is displayed as one article, split into as many parts as you want. Let's find how we can enhance articles using these particular options. So that's what we're going to do next. Starting in the book on page 157, it says here one lump or two. It says, so far we haven't added any instructions in our article to change the way that it's displayed. Let's have a look at the front end to see how it's displayed by default. Well, you already saw that. All right. And again, I can go back to it. Not a problem. So, you know, we go back to here. All right. And we go back to facts on bad art. And then just what is ugly art. So that's the way it looks right now. And it's not bad. There's nothing wrong with it. You could say that it's kind of different from the flow of the, from most of the rest of the articles that we have in here, and I would not disagree with that. So early in the chapter, we created a link to the facts category. As you noticed, the five full paragraphs show on the facts category. This is not how we want our article to be displayed. If we were to add more articles, they would be fully displayed in the huge category of blog. To get Joomla to show just a short teaser, we'll now split the article, separating the intro text and the full body text. So that's what we'll do next. I'm on page 158 of the book. And on 158, as the author says right here, in the articles you created in earlier chapters, you've already seen that it's good to add a separate intro text to the article. Now you know why, that teaser text type of thing. All right, so this is what we want to do. So let's jump back into this. Okay, we're here. And close a couple of these, I think. All right, I'm going to save and close right here navigate over to content article manager and open the article you just created I guess it already was open that's fine in the text editor add a new first line okay so here they've added the characteristics of truly bad art okay so there that is Place the cursor just after this first line of text and create a read more. Now, again, when I create read more, it has a tendency to take my page that is now displaying like this and just really screw the hell out of it. Pardon my French. All right, but I'm going to do what they say anyway. So they're telling us to go right there and then put in a read more link. There it is. So again, following the steps, in the article options panel, set show intro text to hide. Show intro text. Whoops. Show intro text. We want to set that to hide. This means the intro text, the short teaser text, will be hidden when the full article is shown. It will only be displayed on overview pages. Click on save, then view the site. So let's save. Let's go back and view the site. Facts on bad art. There it is. So again, that's all you can see in there right now. Okay? Mission accomplished. Now only the intro text and the read more are shown. Okay, the full five paragraphs are shown when you click the read more link. So let's double check. There they are. And you notice that our beginning text that we had in here that said the characteristics of bad art, truly bad art, are not shown any longer. 
So in principle, any article in Joomla can consist of one continuous bunch of text. Especially when writing short articles, it's okay to, th to create these kinds of texts. But in many cases, you want to split an article into introductory text like we just did here. By setting the intro text to hide, you can create a teaser text that's different from the intro. Plus, again, as we'll see later, that might be the kind of thing that you show to non-registered users, where if they try to click the read more, they have to be registered. All right, creating multi-page articles, which is next, starting on the bottom of page 159 here in the book. You, suppose you have a long article with several sections, each covering a subtopic. Sometimes you might find that an article is too long to be fully displayed on a single page. It doesn't fit on the content screen. You don't want the visitor to have to scroll because that typically is considered to be unprofessional. All right. So there is a tedious solution which involves manually going and splitting the article by creating several short articles, but there's an easier way, and that's what we're going to do. We're again going to do the time for action and follow the steps that are shown on pages 160 and 161. So we're going to jump back again onto our site. Navigate the content article manager. I really am close to there, but I'm just going to follow all the steps that they told us to do. So I'm going to end up getting back probably right where I am right now, but that's fine. Content article manager. And there we are. All right. And open just what is ugly art. We just had it open, but that's fine. Select the page break location. This is where Joomla will split the article into separate pages. We'll replace every subheading by a page break. All right, so let's do this first. I didn't do this in class, but I'm going to do it now. Hopefully this is a smart thing, but we'll find out. I'm going to grab each one of those. And it's, let's put it this way. It's Saturday, so it's not that I'm in a hurry, but yet I'm in a hurry, if that makes any sense. Other stuff to do. My garage door broke yesterday, and I'm having a guy come early this afternoon to fix it. He may come earlier, and my wife is there right now, but I'd like to be there too to find out just exactly what's wrong with his door. So, save myself a little typing. Probably I made more work for myself rather than less, but that's fine. All right, so there's the four. Okay. We'll replace every subheading by a page break. Let's select abstract chaos, the first one that's right here. All right, so we're selecting that one and deleting it. Now, click on the page break button at the bottom of the page, and we should have a pop-up here that asks us for the page title, all right, page title they want us to add back. So there's the abstract chaos. It will enter a title. In this case, the text of the former heading will be displayed there. The table of contents alias. It's best to keep this as short as possible. Let's keep that as just what is ugly art. All right. Click on insert page break. And repeat steps two to four through for the other ones. So come back over to here. Remove that bottom page break. So this is the second one, I believe, at least. Yep. There's two. Let's go back to the third one, which is too much detail. 
hopefully one thing that you're noticing in this is uh, this is a lot. You could make the case and say that in, in some ways at least this is a lot of busy work. Right? Mainly because we're doing a lot of repetitive operations over and over again in here. So I've done what the author has asked. I repeated steps two to four for each page break. Now I want to save, close the article, and click on View Site to have a look at the results. And I've just let's just we've got a bunch of these open already, so let's refresh. seen all that. As far as I can tell, at least, it appears as though it works. Now, instead of one article, Joomla has created a series of interlinked article pages. The first page you see is the subpage, and pages include the previous and next links. Okay, so Joomla has allowed us to add page breaks, breaks to spread the content of a single article over multiple pages. All right. Sliders and tabs on the bottom of page 161 the book. The current release of Joomla, which is version 3, we're again using, th I'm using 3.3.6, offers some new and creative ways to put a lot of content on a single page without displaying it simultaneously. You don't have to use the default technique that we just used, where a long page is divided into separa separate pages. So the following is an example. The page we've created before is now shown in four panels. There's the first one, and again, you see the hyperlink panels. The technique is sometimes called an accordion. All right, so they're asking us to do this here on the bottom of page 162. Let's jump back into our article. Okay. And what they want us to do here is to go to Extensions, Plugin Manager, select the title, of the content page break plugin. Or does it select the title of the content? Whoops, I didn't want that one anyway. Content page break. So select that title under basic options, which I can see right here. So let's see if they're here. We want to select presentation style and choose sliders. There's presentation style sliders. All right, save your changes and check out what you have. So let's refresh. And there you see it. I guess that's not a very good name for my subheadings. But you can see it is sliding them up. I think I'll go back and change those just so they look a little bit nicer. So let's go back to where we were before. Okay, where we did all this, we had the page break that was in here. So we have to click on each of these page breaks. Hopefully I can, when I do that, I can uh, go to the page break editor. the page breaks that I had in there. I'm going to remove them and add new ones just so they look a little nicer. So. Alright. Probably is kind of a waste of time, but that's that's fine. I go down this way. Maybe the way it is, I've got it's time to go on. Okay. Alright. So I'm up to page 163. Displaying images and links with articles. Okay? Probably a way to get in and, and just modify that stuff, but I'm not sure what it is. Let's get the author of that shows.
Okay, again, I'm on page 163, heading back to the book now. Displaying images and links within articles. When editing and or creating an article in Joomla, you'll notice there is an images and links section below the main editor screen. Joomla offers these fields for images and links to make it easier to create a series of articles using the same standardized layout. The advantage is you don't have to repeatedly make sure that they insert images in the proper location, which can easily lead to mistakes. You've already seen an example of this in Chapter 4. Now let's take a closer look. So again, I'm going to follow the steps on pages 163, 164, 165, and 166. After I get done with that, the next several pages in the chapter just talk about some of the menu options. So we're going to kind of buzz through those quickly. All right. So jumping back into here, it's closed. And in the back end, go to Content, Article Manager, which is pretty much where I am right now. Add new article. In the title field, we want overview of bad art museums. In the category drop down, we want to select facts, which is under bad art. Enter a few paragraphs of dummy text. Insert or read more after the first by placing the cursor at the beginning of the second. So it says add a few paragraphs. Let's add four same three at the first four that we had from here before. There they are. We're going to the beginning of the second one. And we're going to insert a read more link. Okay. We've got that. The basic article is ready. Now let's use the images and links feature. First we will add the intro image. Alright. So Click on the select button for the intro image. A pop-up screen appears allowing you to select, upload images or pages. All right, so again, we'll want that to go here, but we shouldn't even have to do that. So we want to click on the images and links at the bottom. Where is that up here? There we go, right there. All right, so pop-up screen appears allowing you to select or upload images. As we haven't uploaded the appropriate images, let's do that now. I've already, hopefully, have done that. All right, so we want to find the Museum Small JPEG for right here. Again, hopefully, I've already downloaded this. There's Museum Small JPEG. There it is. All right. And select Insert. They're telling us to do. So there, there it is. It says it's okay to leave the image float unchanged, keep it a global. This way the global setting will be used. The image will be left aligned to the paragraph text. Now we have the full image article. Okay. So there's our intro. Okay. And we want the full image article, so we're going to do the same kind of thing. Image large. And again, we're told to click Insert. So that should have put that in. All right. Now, the link fields allow you to add a maximum of three hyperlinks that will be placed above or below the article text. In the text boxes for link A, link B, and link C, which you see A and B here, I've entered Bad Art Museum Ohio, Museum of Bad Art, MOBA, and the Virtual Museum of Ugly Art. And again, for the link, we can just put garbage in here. So we've got here bad art museum, Ohio. And we'll just put in here for all these. Just blackhawk.edu. That's funny. All right, so there's the first one. For the second one, we want to put in Museum of Bad Art, or MOBA. And again, we'll put that in here. And then for C, we're putting in Virtual Museum of Ugly Art. And again,
end, we're going to put, the, put the, a link to Blackhawk. All right, you're done. To find out what it looks like on the front end, well, we better do a save and close. So on the front end, click on, so let's try this. on the front end, click on Facts on Bad Art. There it is. Read more. There's the big article. Okay. All right. And there's our links that we put in. Why are my links put in like that? I think I may have reversed these, so let's go back and look at that. Bad Art Museum, Ohio. That should be There you go, Bad Art Museum, etc. So you can see all of it. Looks fine. Looks very similar to what you see, in fact, virtually identical to what you see on page 165. It says, although the new article looks okay, the default settings may not be appropriate for all purposes. For example, it might seem strange to start an article with a row of hyperlinks. To find out how you can change this, open the article to edit it. click on the article options tab. All right. It says to change the position of the hyperlinks, go to positioning of links and set it to below. So positioning of links. Set that to below. And it also says that you might want to set show category. I'm just going to do them in order as the author does it. To hide. Show author to hide. Show publish date to hide. Show hits and show print to hide. And show email to hide. Finally, show email to hide. So the email had an email on top. I think there is I don't see. So let's save and close. Go back to here. Let's see what it looks like now. Let's refresh. You notice that all that stuff is removed and our links have been moved down to the bottom. Good. All right. Next on page 167, the author talks about tweaking the details, changing article settings. I'm not going to run through any of this. We've just done this. These are just the different possibilities of different things that are on the publishing options tab. So you can look through them as you get time. You did see this. I just took a bunch of the stuff that was in here and hit it, and it does look a lot nicer. I'd expect you to do the same, and hopefully that's not asking too much. All right. And that pushes us up all the way to the last part of the chapter, which is page 174, where we're asked to do a little simple archiving. All right. So I guess it really started on 173. Archiving articles. The author mentions here, as your site grows, you might want to clean up site content. You can archive articles where they're still available, but they're no longer part of the, the 
quote, ordinary site contents. You make them visible through a link called something like archived articles. Archiving is something you do by hand to archive an article. You select it and you hit the archive tool button. You can also change the state to archived when you've opened it in the article editor screen as shown on the bottom of page 173, right there. All right. To see which articles you've archived, you can go to Article Manager and select Archived in the status box. You can still edit the article by clicking on the title in the Article Manager to open it up, and you can de-archive it by changing its state from Archived back to Published, or Unpublished if you don't want it to display. So they say, let's archive, let's create an archive for some old news pages on the Corbus site. So I'm on page 174, last part of the chapter. I'm do this work on 174 and 175, and then there's the just what happened on the top of 176, and then we finish the chapter. So I'm going to follow the steps as shown here. So we're told, again, to come back in here, navigate to Content Article Manager, in the select category filter, select news. So that only the news articles are in that category are going to be shown. Try it from the beginning. Content, article manager. Oh, I saw news, so I should be all right. All right, categories. Let's click on news. Not sure what's showing up in the news. Select news to see only the articles in that category. Well, what we want to archive from there is the bad photography exhibition. All right. There it is, right there. Okay. So click on the archive button on the toolbar. So first, highlight it to select it click on the archive button in the toolbar. Let's keep that up there. Click on archive. A message appears to confirm that the article has been archived. The article disappears from the article list. Okay, so it's no longer there. To see archived contents, select archived in the select status dropdown. Here's our bad photography. Okay. You've created a tiny news archive now, but there's no way for the visitor to see its contents. Let's create a link. Navigate to menus, main menu. Add new menu item. says, as the new menu item type for this, select articles, archived articles. Enter a title for the hyperlink, news archives. Adjust any other settings you want and click on save. And when we come back over to here, our news archives and if we click on that there's our bad photography exhibition all right so we created an archive for our outdated articles visitors can view an overview of the archive contents by clicking the news archive link as we just did so that's it for chapter six I'm gonna try to go on like I said I have not heard from my wife yet so hopefully the guy isn't there to fix my garage door all right before we go into chapter 7, I'm going to stop the tape so I can start the tape back up again. We will do that 
in just a matter of months.